Now, every year I get a whole lot of shirts at Nationals. But this one's pretty special because you can see it's handmade just for me. Starts off with a movie quote here from way back when I was a kid. Yeah, I am that old. But the way I really know this shirt's for me is it's got my name right here on the sleeve. You see that? It says Richard Shirt. That makes me an honorary member of Team Arizona. Now, just for Team Arizona, we're going to do a whole mini here. It's all about drawing pictures to solve problems. Now, here's our first problem. We've got Mary and Anne. They live at the opposite ends of the same road. They're going to get on their bikes, ride, meet somewhere in the middle. Now, this looks like one of those rate times time equals distance problems, and I'm sure you're getting all ready to write some equations. But before we do that, let's draw a picture, because maybe that'll make writing the equations a little bit easier. So, here's our picture. We're going to start off. Mary's at one end, Anne is at the other, and they're going to ride, meet in the middle. Now at 11 a.m., Mary's traveled half the distance between their houses. So at 11 a.m., Mary is right there, halfway. Now Anne's coming the other way, she's going a little bit slower. She's covered only three-eighths of the distance. So she's come this way, and she's not quite to the middle yet and they're one mile apart. So these two points here are one mile apart. And we're looking for how many miles apart are their houses. Well, the answer's right there in the diagram. We fill in the piece. It's not there yet. This little piece has got to be one-eighth of the whole distance. If this is a half and this is three-eighths, there's the last eighth. And if this is piece is an eighth of the distance, and that's one mile, then the whole thing has to be eight miles. No big equation, no rate times time equals distance. We just drew a picture and the answer was right there in our diagram. All right, let's try this picture drawing tool on another problem. I've got Joyce riding her bike up a hill. She goes for three kilometers going up the hill, passes Greg who's walking down the hill at one meter, meter per second. I got meters, I've got kilometers, so I'm gonna underline that so I remember the units are different, so I don't have to worry about that. Joy's going to continue going up the hill for another seven kilometers, and then she's going to come down the whole hill at twice the speed that she went up. And Joy and Greg arrive at Joy's starting point down there at the bottom at the same time. Now the question is in meters per second, huh? so we care about meters, not kilometers. What was Joy's average speed going down the hill? Uh, this definitely looks like one of those rate times time equals distance problems, but I can't see what sort of equation to build. So I'm going to try to I'm gonna draw a picture, because then maybe I'll be able to see it. So we're going to start with Joy. She's going up the hill. She goes up the hill, meets Greg somewhere, keeps on going. Now I'm going to do everything in meters, because I want meters per second at the end, not kilometers. So I'm going to write down here, this is 3,000 meters. And then she meets Greg, and then she goes another 7,000 meters. And then she goes down the whole hill, all in one go. That's a whole 10,000 meters. All right, so that takes care of Joy. But what's going on with Greg? Now, all we know about Greg is this last little bit of his trip right there meets Joy right there, and then he goes down this last little bit. He's going one meter per second for these 3,000 meters. That means he has to be going for 3,000 seconds in order to cover the 3,000 meters. All right, so 3,000 seconds. Well, that's how long he walks from here to here, and during that time, Joy goes all the way up and all the way back down because they meet here at the same time. So we know the time of her trip, her whole trip up and down can use that to make an equation. Now, we need Joy's rate, so we'll go ahead and assign a variable to that. Her rate going up, we'll call that r. We know her rate coming down is double that, is two times r. And we're going to break out that whole rate times time equals distance thing. And we'll write expressions for her time going up and her time coming back down. Add those together, we better get 3,000 seconds. So going up, while well, her time is her distance divided by her rate, that's 7,000 divided by r. Her rate going back down is 2r. Distance is 10,000 meters. So 
So we're going to take 10,000 divided by 2R. We're going to add these together. Put a little wall right here so I don't get confused. We're going to add these together. We've got to get to 3,000 seconds because we know her whole trip takes the same amount of time as Greg's trip coming down here. That's the 3,000 seconds. So now we can clean this up a little bit. 10,000 over 2R, that's the same thing as 5,000 over R. I'm going to divide through by 1,000 as well. Simplify this equation. Some will get 7 over R plus 5 over R equals 3. 7 plus 5 is 12 over R equals 3. And we see that R is 4. So now we're awfully tempted to write down 4 in the answer blank and move on. We'd be really sad if we did that because we forgot the most important step. The most important step is to go back and read the question one more time. Make sure you answer the question that is asked. Meters per second, what was Joy's average speed going down the hill? We want the speed going down the hill. Speed going down the hill is 2 times r. That gives us 8 meters per second. All right, read the question. Always read the question again at the end. So we got 8. We got 8. So we're going to look at the last problem. You're going to see all those words. You're going to write down 8 and move on. 8's not the right answer to this one. We're going to have to do some work here. First, let's make sure we understand the problem. This is one of my favorite problems. I've got to pay attention closely. See, what's going on here is, so like every day, she gets on a train and goes home from school. That's the way she gets home from school. And every day, Vilma, she waits at home until just the right time. She gets in her car, drives to the train station, picks Zuleika up, and then drives home. Now, Vilma times her trip very carefully. She wants to get to the train station exactly the time Zuleika gets there because Vilma doesn't like waiting. and She doesn't want Zuleika to wait either, so she always gets there right on time. Zuleika gets in. They drive home. They get home at 5. Now, one day, Zuleika left home school a little early. Didn't tell Mom. Don't do that. Your mom will worry about you. Just don't do this. But Zuleika did it. She didn't, didn't call home. She got to the train station an hour early. So well, she realized she forgot to call mom. Got out her phone and it wasn't working. So she started walking home. She figured, oh, I'm going to start walking home, walking home. Mom will see me when she comes to pick me up. And well, Vilma didn't know Zuleika got there early. So Vilma left home at the regular time. Left home at the regular time and Sure enough, ran into Zuleika walking home. Zuleika jumped in the car. They drove home. They got home at 4.46. Now here's the question. How long had Zuleika been walking before Vilma picked her up? Now here's what I want you to do. First, I know, you want, I know what you want to do. You want to assign some variables, write down some rate times time equals distance equations. All right, Give that a shot. I want you to pause it. Pause it right now. Give that whole rate times time equals distance thing a shot. Come back when you're tired. All right, now it should be about 15 minutes later, right? Because you kept going at that, kept going at that with the whole rate times distance thing. Or maybe you just skipped that and you drew a picture. Let's see if your picture looked like this. We're going to draw a picture of the special day because the usual day is pretty boring. They meet, they get home at 5 p.m., nothing special happens. On the special day, Zuleika gets to the train station an hour early. We're going to look at Zuleika's day. And she gets to the train station an hour early, so we'll say X is the usual time. She gets there 60 minutes early. And she starts walking home. Now she's going to walk, 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 until she gets to a certain point where she gets picked up. She gets picked up at P right there, and then she gets in the car, and they drive the rest of the way home. That's what Zuleika's day looks like. Now let's see what Vilma's day looks like. All right, she starts from home, as usual, and she drives out. And instead of going all the way to the train station, she stops here, picks up Zuleika, and then turns around and heads right back home, gets there at 4.46. Now, you know, I might be a little stumped here. I mean, we could start throwing some variables, try to write some equations, but that gets hard really fast because we don't know anything. We don't know this distance. We don't know the times of pretty much anything. We don't know any rates. Well, there's something missing in this diagram. Remember back at that first problem, we put in that missing 1 8 It became obvious. What's missing here is the rest of Vilma's trip. Let's draw the rest of her trip. Rest of her trip, she comes out to the train station, and then she turns around and goes back. That's the usual day. Now, on this day, she doesn't do this. But on the usual day, she would have kept going. She would have kept on going. Now, she got home 
14 minutes early. Her usual day, she comes all the way out and goes back. But today, she just came out to here and went back, got home 14 minutes early. So that means on her usual day, there's that extra 14 minutes right here. Extra 14 minutes are seven minutes out, seven minutes back, seven minutes here, seven minutes there. And now we have some information about this right here. Because ordinarily, she would have gone past this for seven more minutes and then picked Zuleika up. So this point here, right here, must be seven minutes before the usual pickup time. This right here, seven minutes before X, our usual pickup time. So Zuleika started walking 60 minutes before the usual pickup time and then gets picked up at seven minutes before the usual pickup time. So that means she's been walking for 60 minus seven is 53 minutes. No fancy equations just one pretty picture and we've got our answer so we like pretty pictures speaking of pretty pictures check that out that's the old art of problem solving logo this definitely is my shirt